in a game dominated by defences. Yeah, Malloy for sure, just getting Johnny Doyle out of the way. Not sure that's allowed, but uh, he's using his power to create the effort. But Malloy is shooting quite a bit, but not shooting as accurately as he would have liked. Johnny goals, seven points, all coming from play. And there, seven points, five from play, two from freeze. Both of them scored by Morgan O'Flaherty. Tori Gonil to his centre half back, Morgan O'Flaherty. Robert Kelly. Andrew McLaughlin. His intended to pass was to James Kavner, but Kavner wasn't quite expecting it. Anthony Thompson gathers instead for Donegal. Ends up with Mark McElhenney. Frank McLean goes forward. From a right corner back position. Not that uh, positions or jerseys mean anything in this particular quarter final. That's another wide for the Ulster champions. And in the context of this game, Marty, how crucial is the disallowed goal going to be at the end of the day? It led to the Mossa Connor, of course, being substituted off the man that finished the ball into the net. Uh, it would be a huge swing, a three point swing in a game of this uh, importance, and it didn't count. A little bit of frustration in the middle of field has done a goal. They're going to bring in Christy Toy, experienced uh, footballer from uh, St Michael's. And it's his club mate, actually, Colin McFadden. More from the uh, Kishlan Dunfanahy area of Donegal. So Toy on for McFadden. Breaking ball picked up by Frank McGlair. David Walsh. Back to McGlair. Nice ball inside. There's a chance for Christy Toy. He's got it. Super substitute. Harley on 20 seconds. Tony Gold get the crucial break. The ball inside to Toy. Nobody was near him and he cracked it past Shane Connolly. It's a brilliant finish, isn't it? Keeps it low, does everything right. But look at the pass inside. Opens up the defence. Picks his spot, keeps it low. How decisive is that one going to be? You'd have to feel it. Is the move for home for Tony Gold? because they will defend this now with their lives. Only the second goal in the championship conceded by Kieran McGinney's team. Now we have a real test of character for the Lily Whites. Anthony Thompson, it's a lace change from the boots. Another chat between Maxi and Jim McGuinness, part of his management team. As they make further positional changes and perhaps just a little advice from one of the players, Maxi acts as a runner primarily when the game is on. Ryan Bradley. Looking around at options. The man of the moment, Christy Toy. Lays it off, fires Carl Lacey. Back outside, fires David Walsh. Changes the direction of the play over towards Kevin Cassidy. Lays it off quickly and gets it back. Went over the sideline, didn't he? Looked like he did. Sideline ball for Kildare. He lost his concentration badly there when they had the ball in a good position. Just watch it here, Marty. It goes well over it. It looked like he was taking a sideline kick. <laughs> Ronan Sweeney is on for uh, Brian Flanagan. Ollie Lyons will be coming on very shortly. Emmett Bolton over towards Flanagan. who has got the last touch. Landsman indicates it's Tommy Gold. Dermot Malloy. Ball inside. Gathered here by Anthony Thompson. He scored twice in the Ulster final and he's desperately unlucky here. Real opportunity for Donegal here. 
off the post. Oh, that could have been a clincher, the four-point lead. Every team craves it. With less than ten minutes to go, it was an opportunity. Ali Lyons is coming on for Kildare. And he's going to replace right cornerback Andrew McLaughlin. And Ronan Sweeney is coming on, as you can see, and he's going to be replacing Brian Flanagan. So but both the right cornerback and right halfback on the Kildare team have now been changed. Well, this, is, this is always policy because they want to get the fresh legs now, make the big surge for the last 10 minutes. They have plenty of work to do. All bypasses all the midfield area. Now, what a Kildare made it. Tori Gornia, good ball. Good hands by Paul Durkin. Down first, Mark McHugh. Continues to work hard. Playing deep inside his own half-back line. Kevin Cassidy. McHugh continues on his run. Almost 13 and a half minutes since Kildare got their last score. Ali Lyons gets his first touch since introduced. Lays it off for his aim and Callaghan. Robert Kelly. On, Goes back first, Callaghan again. Ali Lyons. James Cavanaugh. Into his Johnny Dorn. He's now gone in full forward. Push him the back. Referee says play on. Now he's given a free to Kildare. Heavy challenge there to him, John Doyle. And I didn't catch who it was. Was it uh, Neil McGee, was it? Or Eamon McGee, rather. Johnny Doyle picked up a knock there with that uh, challenge for possession with Neil McGee. And he already picked up a knock right at the start of the match, which seemed to influence uh, his performance right at the very beginning. Yeah, it's oh, he got McGee. a little clip on the side of the head as well. That was accidental. And his presence on the field is crucial for Kildare. Interesting. In the second half, Donegal have scored 1-4. And you consider they can only barely manage three points. And I emphasize again, between the 8th and the 38th minute of the first half, Donegal failed to score. But here in the second half, they've now scored 1-4, and Kildare have only managed two points. And you'd have to say John Doyle hasn't been the influence we would expect him to be. Every time he's got on the ball, Donegal have really gone in very hard after him because they see him as a key player and they're entitled to do that of course once it's within the rules but he has taken some heavy knocks none heavier than the very first play of the game on the throw in Mickey Conway one of the finest players in the Kildare squad played uh, left back last year had a huge reception when he came out against uh, Leash on this qualifier journey here to Crook Park his presence is now required in the eyes of his manager, Kieran McGinney. Owen O'Flaherty going to take this free. He needs it. Difficult enough angle. Ships it in. He's got it. And over the bar. That's a really good score. Third point from a place ball for Owen O'Flaherty in a total personal tally of five. Well, we know they won't die. We know Kildare will keep at it, Marty. That is a brilliant kick by O'Flaherty. The best one he's hit in the whole match and so badly wanted. Mickey Conway comes on for right half forward, Tori O'Neill. Can he make a difference? Just two points between the teams. Knocked down by Darrell Flynn. Picked up by Alan Smith. Gathered here by Mickey Conway. Ali Lines. Into the corner. Johnny Doyle with Neil McGee. Is it Eamon McGee that was doing the pushing and he continues to do the pushing? The linesman has ruled that it is a dummy goal ball. Johnny Doyle letting his uh, feelings be known to the linesman Joe McQuillan from Cavan. Back to Eamon McGee. Yeah. 
gathered by Carl Lacey and laid off to David Walsh. Diagonal ball aimed for Demo Malloy. He's lost it. Lost it this time to Ali Lyons. James Cadman inside his own half of the field, bringing it forward into Donegal territory. Lays it off smartly, fires Roman Sweeney. Cadman has to go back outside. He had a little bit of support, but Sweeney was fouled. And there's another free end for Kildare. I think it's a trip here, we'll see. He comes across it. <laughs> Johnny Gaultner is doing everything he can. Johnny Gaul number nine. But uh, it's not happening for him. Now another crucial free kick. He's been excellent so far, you'd have to say. John Doyle missed one or two, but uh, O'Flaherty has really measured up. He's taken the pressure kicks. And the pressure is building. Time ticking away for Kildare. And as Kevin mentioned, this kick is yet another pressure one. More or less the same angle as before, but just a little bit nearer the goalposts. Chips it in, and the umpire signals wide. Disappointment for Ono Flaherty. Miscued that one. Yeah, that's what pressure does. Pushed it. But there's still time if they're good enough, and they are good enough, and we know they will keep at it. Kick out from Paul Durkin. Straight down the middle again. Breaking ball. Picked up by Alan Smith. Eamon Caller. Goes for distance. Well won by Ronan Sweeney. Trying to get inside Neil McGee. Lays it off first Johnny Doyle. Mark McHugh defending. So too is Ryan Bradley. Comes back first James Kavner. Steps by the challenge of Bradley. Floats this one in. Is it going all the way? It is, but that was surely a cross. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant by James Kavner. I thought he was crossing it, Marty. That was my first instinct, that he was looking to cross it. He mishit it, and it falls in. Maybe I'm wrong, I'll give him the benefit, but what a kick. Beautifully hit by James Kavner. One point between the teams. A minute and a half left in Croke Park in this All-Ireland quarter-final. A poor first half, by all means, particularly the last ten minutes of that first half. Second half, much better. Now, have the Lily Hawks have it in them. Four minutes, additional time. We've just heard from the sideline. Is extra time beckoning for all of us? Oh, there's a hit on the... He got, yes, he did. He slipped into it, though, I have to say. Morgan O'Flaherty. Fouled by Rory Kavner. And Kavner going to get a yellow card, I'm pretty sure, for his troubles. And for that challenge, more precisely. Confirmation. Second yellow card shown in the match. Both of them to Donegal footballers. 30 seconds left in Croke Park. And the pass is a terrible one to James Kavner. And Donegal snatch at it. Frank McGlenn to Carl Lacey. Four minutes left in the match. And about 14 seconds of real playing time. Rory Cavan comes away with it. Far as David Walsh comes it into the corner. Ball seemed to take a little bit of a spin. Ran away from Michael Murphy. Kick out for Shane Connell. 70 minutes played in this All-Ireland quarter-final. Holly Lyons. Kildare have to produce one more score to force this to extra time. Lyons. Overfires Mickey Conman. Robert Kelly. Under pressure. Great, tenacious defending by Carl Lacey. Back again fires Anthony Thompson. The Ulster champions showing a lot of battle. 
a lot of courage and metal and indeed self-confidence. Coming away with it, Mark McElhenney. But Kildare have it again. This time, the shape of form of Alan Smith into the space to Emmett Bolton. Is he the man? Steps away from the challenge from out the field.